If you're ready to take on the world, make your dreams come true, and skyrocket your business, then you need to learn about digital marketing. What's up, Tariq here, helping you with the best tips and tools to level up your business. The world is changing, and so is marketing, but there are a few key concepts that if you stick to with digital marketing, will make a big difference in your business very, very fast. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down digital marketing bit by bit, including the most popular digital marketing channels and when you should use them. What's the difference between traditional marketing and digital marketing? What do all these digital marketing terms mean? SEO and Facebook ads and PPC and CPC and all this crazy stuff. How to actually build a solid digital marketing strategy. I'll be sharing real life success stories on the stuff that actually works rather than just what I think works or what Joe Schmo says works. And we'll also go through some of the top digital marketing tools that can help you get to where you wanna go with digital marketing fast. So what is digital marketing and what's the difference between digital marketing and traditional marketing? Digital marketing is why you need to get tips and advice from people who are where you wanna be but didn't start not too long ago. What does all that mean? If you come in and you see somebody who's highly successful, who's been in the industry, whatever industry you're in for a long, long, long time, 20, 30 years, you say, hey, how should I get started? They're gonna spit out something crazy like yellow pages or, or go out and, and put brochures on cars and stuff because that's how they get started. But it's a new world, so as crazy as it sounds, just because you take tips and advice from somebody who's already where you ultimately wanna be, doesn't mean it's gonna work for you because you are starting in a totally different age and world than where they started. So you really need to talk to somebody or, or, or understand somebody who's just a little bit farther than you. And that's really what we're doing today. I wanna break down the basics of what works today. Now with traditional marketing, people used to put ads in newspapers and on yellow pages and go door to door. And I'm not saying that stuff doesn't work anymore, but with the digital age, there are much easier ways that are faster, cheaper, and more effective. I mean, who doesn't want that? And it's all about understanding what they are and how to leverage them. And unfortunately, most business owners never get to that point. You look around, you see so many businesses that are local to you, that are run by great people that don't even have a website. Or they do have a website, but they don't know how to optimize it so nobody sees it. Or they do know how to optimize it and they get a ton of people to visit their website, but they don't know how to sell online and how to get people to actually come in and do business with them. Unfortunately, again, it's not working for most people because they don't do it. But that's where the opportunity lies for people like you who are watching this video who are gonna go ahead and implement this stuff. So I hope you're excited. Let's jump right in. Now, digital marketing is where you market to people all over the world or, or all over in your area without physically interacting with them. They don't have to see your guy spitting a sign on the road or a billboard or physically grab a business card from you, right? They can see your ads everywhere, online, on social media, whether it's a desktop or a mobile phone. That is the power of digital marketing. They could be sitting right at home and they could see your ads and it is an amazing opportunity. Right? That is the difference between digital marketing and traditional marketing. The opportunities are literally endless. And there are three key components to getting this to actually work. And unfortunately, most people grab onto one of them and then just run with it their entire career. And they wonder why the results are mediocre, why their business is growing, but they're so slow that they never actually get to achieve their dreams or retire or spend time with their family or go on a vacation. It's because you're only picking one thing that resonates with you. You're only doing 30% of it. And those three, I call them WTF. If you want more information about that specifically, go ahead and check out this video, but it's website traffic funnels, right? We're going to break that down quite a bit. But number one, you need a website to be your digital storefront, your storefront online. This is where people can go and this is where they'll find your products, your information. This is how they get a hold of you. But it doesn't stop there. Just because you have a website doesn't mean that people can see your website. Doesn't mean that people know that your website exists. And this is where a lot of people stop. They'll get a website and they'll say, well, websites don't work. I got a website, nothing happened. The next one, the second one is T and that stands for traffic. Traffic comes from marketing. So why did I say M? Why isn't it WMF? Is it because I wanted a WTF? Kind of, but what you need is traffic and not necessarily marketing because traffic has so much potential to generate revenue, but not all marketing is designed to generate revenue. What does that mean? Giving somebody a business card does not necessarily mean that they are gonna do business with you, right? You need somebody at the mall, they might just say, oh, okay, this is cool. Maybe put it in their pocket, probably use it. Maybe one out of a thousand will actually call you. There's still potential there. But what about a billboard? What about, you know, I was at a theme park once and, and the umbrellas at the theme park said Sprite. And even my daughter was like, why are, they, why are they marketing on an umbrella? That's not gonna generate revenue for Sprite or Coca-Cola. That's just there for branding. And a lot of us fall into that. We market in areas that are designed for branding 
and not necessarily revenue. There are certain mediums and certain, certain marketing channels that are designed to generate revenue and generate traffic, which in turn generates revenue, but they are not all created equal. So once you have a website, you need to drive traffic to the website by using the correct marketing channels. And how do you figure out what is the correct marketing channel? Well, you have to first figure out who are your ideal customers? What do your customers look like? And then where do they hang out? Now, I don't mean what they physically look like, what do they do? What are they interested in? I'm a party rental business owner. I know that my ideal customers are typically parents, mostly moms. And I know that when they're looking for me, they don't go to Facebook or, or Instagram. They go to Google and they type in bounce house rentals near me. So I know that if I want to get the bottom of the funnel, the people who are ready to spend money, I need to get my business on Google first. And then I could think about other channels. So you have to ask yourself that same question. Where are your ideal customers congregating? Where do they hang out? and you wanna go get in front of them. Where do they go when they're thinking about your service? If you wanna learn more about whether Google is actually a great fit for you, because a lot of times you're like, oh yeah, I think Google or I think Facebook. No, no, let's find out the facts. So if you wanna find out the facts, go ahead and check out this video where I break down step-by-step -step how to use free platform to go ahead and see if your business or your industry or what you're selling is actually searched on Google and how to get in front of them. So number one is a website. So you get a great website, then you start to drive traffic to it. You gotta figure out, should you be using SEO? Should you be using Facebook ads, Instagram, Google? What is the best one? If you wanna learn the difference about all these words, Tariq, what does SEO mean and all that? You can go ahead and check out this video where I break all that down. But essentially, it all comes down to what I started with. Some marketing generates traffic, other marketing is just for branding, other marketing is just for long-term digital footprint. And to really understand that, the video that I just mentioned up here, help you do that. And I'll link to all these videos at the bottom of the video. So you got a great website, you drove traffic to it. Now what? Just because you have a bunch of people on your website does not mean they're gonna do business. You need a traffic funnel, you need a sales funnel. And what that does is it's designed to turn customers who don't know you, who just walked in the door and peeked their head in, they're like, huh, oh, what's this place about? It's designed to take them by the hand and say, come on in, take a look, take your time, nurture them, make them feel welcome so that they can really warm up to you. And that's exactly what funnels are designed to do. They are designed to turn cold clicks into warm leads who are then at some point they will become hot and they're ready to spend money. The big mistake most of us business owners make, we treat every click, every lead as if it's a warm or hot lead when really they just, they don't know you, right? They're not ready to spend money with you. Ask yourself, when was the last time you went to a website that said add to cart, buy now, book now? And they're like, no, <laughs> right? I gotta talk to my wife, I gotta look up your reviews, I gotta think about it, I gotta check out your competition. We're not ready to do business at that point. Websites are typically for browsing, funnels are where the sales happen. And what's such a tragedy and such an opportunity is that till now, most business owners have no idea what a funnel is and what it's designed to do. If you wanna learn a lot more about funnels, I did a whole video about it. Go ahead and check out this video where I specifically break down what is a funnel and why it's used. And this by itself will take you down the rabbit hole of becoming such a more successful business owner online. And it just, it's really, really mind blowing, interesting stuff. I hope you find it helpful. But tell me for now, before we go on to the next step, what have you learned so far from this video? What is your big aha moment where you're like, man, I can't wait to go out and try this to read. And if you've learned anything at all or found this helpful at all, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so I can keep creating content like this. This stuff's a lot of work. It would really help me to get that motivation to see that the subscribes are going up, the likes are going up. So thank you for that. Now to build a solid digital marketing strategy, I'm a firm believer that we have to start with where the money happens, where the sales happen, right? You don't want to jump in and be like, man, I got to do social media and I got to do this and I got to do that. Just start with the one thing, right? Where, where is it? Which part of everything that I'm sharing with you here is what's going to generate you money? And that's typically getting a website, driving traffic to the website by way of getting in front of those people and finding out who your ideal customers are and where they hang out and then using sales funnels to warm up those leads and sell them right? After that, you can go ahead and start toggling all this other stuff. Too many times we get excited, we start to see some movement and we're like, okay, let me start bashing everybody on Instagram. Let me get on TikTok. Let me... It's just not productive. Feed your cash cow first and then go on to the next thing. Now, you may or may not have heard my story before, but from my personal experience, I spent years growing a business while working a couple jobs to hopefully go ahead and get that business to take off. And it never happened until I started implementing these strategies that I just shared with you. And then I started to offer it to other people and the results really speak for themselves guys take a look at these results you could see exactly what's being spent and how much they made and that's the best kind of digital marketing where you can see a clear ROI 
Unlike that bright logo on the top of Umbrella, I'm talking about specifically by the use of Google ads and Facebook ads and Instagram ads, you can see specifically, here's what they spent, here's what they made, and it's crystal clear. And if you have a good marketer, you can go ahead and track that. Now, if you're interested in any of this and you wanna set up a call and you're, you know, we specifically deal with the party rental industry, go ahead and check out the link in, in the description. We can set up a call, my team can take a look. But really, it all starts with understanding the foundations for yourself, because then you can be a more educated buyer and you can really learn how to talk to your marketer once you eventually do hire them. I'm a big fan of always trying it on your own first, unless you have the money to spare to go ahead and get it done right. It does take time and I teach a ton of free courses. You go ahead and see those in the description. Now I've talked a lot about a lot of the tools and a lot of the different things that you can use for digital marketing, but I wanna share one very special tool that you can really use to get a head start on your competitors. What if you can see exactly what your competitors are doing, what keywords they're using, what their customers are actually looking for to get to their website. Go ahead and check out this video where I specifically break down how to enter a competitor. It doesn't even have to be local. It could be a competitor that's doing what you're doing in another part of the country, another part of the world. But as long as they have a website, you can plug in that website and see what's driving traffic to their business. Go ahead and check that out. And let me know in the comments what has worked for you, what kind of marketing channels have worked, what, which ones have let you down, and I'll see you guys in the next video.